hope you're all having a great week so far. So today I'm going to be doing a fun and simple hair tutorial and um, I actually got this as a request from a couple different people that watched my May uh, 2012 favorites. Um, so I decided that since this is pretty much my go-to um, like a second and third day hair style um, then I would show you guys the three different ways that I style my Dutch braid. A little different from the French braid the difference is that a French braid um, braids with the braid part um, under the hair and then the Dutch braid actually has the braid on the outside of the hair so um, if it makes sense what I'm saying. Anyways, this is my go-to hairstyle for second and third day hair because it's just so fun, simple, and your hair is not all in your face and stuff. And um, on first day hair, I always like my hair to be down and all, you know, ja ja. Um, but, you know, after a couple days of not washing it, then um, I kind of like to put it up so that it's not so obvious that I haven't watched so, it. I really hope you guys enjoy this video and um, if you want to learn how I style my Dutch braid then just stick around. Alright guys, so we are going to start off by um, just parting our hair down one side. It really doesn't matter which side you decide to go on, um, whatever you guys feel more comfortable with. Um, I kind of switch it up sometimes, so uh, today I just felt like going this way. Um, so once you part your hair to the side, um, I'm just going to go about halfway down the center of like my head and um, the crown of my hair the head and um, grab just like a little one inch chunk of hair just like that all right and so we are just gonna um, section that off into three parts just like that one two and three and um, we are going to take this first section under the second section so now your middle section will be in front your front section will be in the middle and then your back section is still in the back then uh, taking that back section we're going to take it under the middle one so now the front section which was at the front at the beginning is at the back the back section is in the middle and the middle section is in the front. So then the front section now, take that under and grab a little bit of hair and take that under, just like that. Hopefully you guys can see this kind of well. I don't know if the lighting's that great. Um, so now taking this back section hair, you're just going to grab a little bit of hair from the back put that together and take that underneath. So basically you're going to be working um, the like outer portions, sections in and after that first, um, the first over and under then you'll start adding hair. So now um, I'm going to take this front section, add a little bit of hair take that to the back or the middle I'm sorry then this back section grab a little bit of hair and to the middle then front section again grab a little bit of hair to the middle then back section grab a little hair and to the middle. Okay, so basically we're just gonna continue all the way down and I'm just gonna keep grabbing um, little hairs to the outer sections, working them in towards the middle. Okay, so once you've reached um, this last section right before your ear, um, this last, last section of hair right here, then just um, continue the braid going all the way down 
don't pick up any more sections. That's just how I prefer to do it. Um, if you want to keep grabbing sections from your hair, then you can, but at this point, once I get to the half of my head or right above my ear, then I just um, continue to braid all the way down. Okay, so now once you have um, your Dutch braid done, um, you can work it all the way to the bottom or just leave a little end right here. Um, so it should kind of look this way. Obviously, it's not really neat um, because I'm gonna be messing it up in the process. So um, now for the first style that I'm gonna show you guys, it's pretty simple. I'm just going to flap up a portion of my hair and then take that braid and just Put it under the hair so pretty much anywhere you want then you're just going to secure it with some bobby pins and I have really thick hair so it's probably gonna take me a couple So then this is what your Dutch braid should look like. Um, and then I'm just going to take the braid and actually just kind of stretch it out to make it a little thicker. And it just kind of creates this messy effect, which I personally like messy kind of hairstyles. Um, and then you can also pull up you can use a comb too, like the end of a teasing comb or something, if you don't feel comfortable pu pulling up your hair like in little sections. But like I said, I don't mind the messiness, so I just kind of do it like that. And then um, basically from here, you can do all of your three styles. Um, once you've secured this braid in place, then you're pretty much set to do any style that you want. So this first style I'm gonna show you guys, I'm just going to keep the rest of my hair down and I'm going to curl it. So, um, just any way you would like to curl, just using a um, one and a half inch curling iron from I don't even know what it is. I think it's like Helen of Troy or Hot Tools or something like that. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna curl some hair. Alright guys, so once you've curled your hair, um, like I said, it can pretty much be up to you how, however much volume you want um, or how curly you want it. Um, I didn't curl everything or make it as curly as I would normally wear it just because um, I am going to be showing you three different styles. So, um, so yeah, this is kind of like the first way that I would wear a Dutch braid. Um, so as you see, it's just very like girly and fun and um, a nice little detail with some cute little curls. And like I said, um, if you want to add some more volume, then all you just have to do is um, take a teasing comb and add volume wherever you would like it. Alright, so then for style number two, I am going to keep my Dutch braid right where it's at. I'm not going to move it. And um, all I'm going to need is a little um, scrunchie and some bobby pins. And um, I'm just going to take this over to the side. And you don't have to grab so um, tightly, just kind of grab a little loose. Um, if you can notice, my um, hair is kind of covering this side. So um, just to make it a little more symmetrical, I don't like to um, like take this too tight back. So I'm just going to grab this kind of loosely. And I am just going to make a little messy bun right here and this is probably my favorite one when I'm like on the go and 
don't have time to do anything because since it's a messy bun, it's the easiest out of all. Um, so it takes the least amount of time. So now that you have your little messy bun right here, having it curly also helps out with the messy bun um, because you really don't have to put too much effort into it and it kind of has like these little cute spirals and stuff like that. So um, once you have your little messy bun, um, this will kind of create a little um, like looseness since we pulled that out. So you just wanna match it up on this side that is a little tighter. Um, so just grab the hair and pull. If you want, you can have um, like a little ringlet hair going down. I guess that'll be cute. Just like that, something really cute and simple. Um, just work it out so it's not too tight on this side um, if you do have hairs that tend to fall out then I would just secure them in place with a little bobby pin but again you don't want it too tight to your head something like that if you want this a little higher up your messiness then just work it up with your fingers or you could take the end of a comb and just to work it up. If you do have trouble with your messy bun and you kind of want to perfect it, um, I would just take some bobby pins and kind of pin it wherever you want it to be. So if you want it to be a little higher um, or anything, just put in some bobby pins. Bobby pins. And yeah. So this is style number two, really cute, very simple. All right guys, so for hairstyle number three, and this is actually the one that was um, requested by a couple people um, that saw it in my main favorites. They, I had got a couple requests to um, do a tutorial on that hairstyle. So um, this last style is gonna be showing you how I got that look. Um, so again, we're just gonna leave the Dutch braid right where it's at. There's no need to move it. And I'm just going to scoop all of my hair over to one side side and then um, this is actually pretty simple as well you're just since you already have the beginning of your Dutch braid you're gonna leave it right where it's at and then you're just going to separate your hair into three sections just like a normal braid and at the end I'm just gonna take a little rubber band Now as you can see this braid has kind of gotten a little loose so all I'm gonna do is take a little bobby pin and then just kind of secure that in to my head just like that and then on this side you can see it's a little messy because I do have layers in my hair so I have some uneven little areas now, since I don't want it to be too tight, I'm just gonna scoop up the little hair that is falling out and kind of bump it up. So I have this little bump right here and just secure it with a couple bobby pins. And again, just kind of work it up wherever you want. And this is your finished look. So I really hope you guys enjoyed these three different looks. Um, one simple braid and three looks. Um, like I said, if you wanted to change it up throughout the day, then you can start out with your hair down and curly. Um, then you can put it up into a messy bun and at the end of the night, work it into a braid. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this and it made it a lot easier for you guys um, to get ideas for uh, second and third day hair. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and thank you guys for the awesome request. Um, if you guys want to request any other tutorials, then just make sure to comment them down below and I will get to them as soon as I can. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.